I bought the most ridiculous thing I own the other day, and I'm going to share it with you now. Let's go. So this guy here, I saw this at the Goodwill, and I thought, oh, this is garbage. But then I posted about it on Twitter, and a whole bunch of people told me I was an idiot for leaving it there. So I went back and got it, and it's really bad, and I was right to not buy it, but everyone else was right to get mad at me for not buying it. So now that I have it, I have to share it with you. So this here is the uh, Roland MT-90S, and what this is is a standalone MIDI player. Now, these things have existed for a long time, usually with the intention of being sequencers for the purpose of spitting MIDI out to something else, um, but Roland has always made, like, the MT series, MT, I think, 80, um, 90S, 90U, and a few other ones. Um, they've had those for a long time for the purpose... I don't even know what the purpose is, but this one here is apparently some sort of music teaching system. This has a floppy drive, and you put MIDI files into it. If you were around for this back in the 90s, when you'd have, like, a bunch of Spice Girls songs and, like, Britney Spears in, like, .mid format, and you'd listen to them as if it was good, because MP3s weren't around yet. So this does that, but it's from 2000. Instead of having a really lo-fi, sort of a super aesthetic kind of sound, uh, that minis did back when you had like a Sound Blaster 16. This actually has like a relatively modern wavetable, um, so it sounds more like the Windows MIDI synthesizer. So it sounds like shit, but then everything did sound like shit back then. But there's a few things this does that are special. If, if you manage to get one of these, please keep in mind, this is a center negative jack, which is why I've adapted it here, because getting center negative power supplies is difficult. Uh, this takes about two amps, and I'm running off one and a half, and it seems to work all right. Uh, it's got MIDI in, although no MIDI out, so this cannot be used as a sequencer. Um, I may open it up at some point and see if there's a MIDI out jack inside. Um, but then we have a, a remote start-stop control, which I'm assuming is just a, a pedal that you'd get for, um, like a sustain pedal for a keyboard to probably operate that. Here's your primary audio output, and then here is an input for a microphone. Basically, it'll mix your voice with the MIDI. So it's karaoke machine. Like, undeniably, this is a karaoke machine. And it's, it's even got the echo control. So I actually, I can't find my quarter inch mic anywhere, so I can't demonstrate that part right now. But that's okay, because that doesn't matter. That's not what we're here for. So there is a headphone out on the front, which cuts off the speaker, which is good uh, for, for this application. If you don't want to cut off the speaker, there's a pair of RCA jacks on the back instead. Let's power this on. Let's power this on. So I think what it's doing right now is indexing the whole floppy, reading each of the MIDI files on there, so it can get the name off of each one. Here we go. Yeah. You see the floppy drive is actually running. Okay, so you see, you hear the vocals there? You can barely hear them. Well, that's okay, this has part mute. That's right, you can turn off tracks. Now, that's completely unreasonable. I've never seen that on anything before. And what that means is that you can just do live remixes of shitty old 90s pop songs.
you can also set loop points. So let's start this out. Now it'll just loop here forever. There's also this very peculiar feature where if you turn on the metronome, and then turn this count off on, Doesn't that sound exactly like the beginning of Walla Walla by The Offspring? Okay, then finally we can do this. So like, as dumb as this is, I mean, we know these are all basic features. You can actually do some pretty entertaining party tricks with this thing. Here, let me show you some more of my library. Oh, here's a banger from my childhood. we got going on in here. Oh, this is one of my faves. Check this out. Get ready for it. Watch the screen. Yeah. It's the lyrics to the Pokemon theme in Portuguese. See this? It supports lyrics built into the MIDI. It doesn't do every song perfectly, uh, like for instance this is the Japanese Pokemon theme and it doesn't sound good on here at all. Oh. It's not supposed to sound like this at all. And for some reason track one doesn't work. Now, of course, this having MIDI in, you can also just play it with a general MIDI compatible keyboard, and it will just honor the patches the keyboard sends. Uh, you can also play it with a MIDI sequencer on your PC. And uh, my friend Ben, who is a much better musician than me, did that and sent me a video clip of it, which I'll insert here.
So there it is, the most ridiculous thing I own, and I almost didn't even buy it. Thanks, Twitter.